Hi folks, in today's defense updates, we'll talk about the news of Turkish Army's general visit to Pakistan. This year's record production of J-10 and J-20 manufacturing factory, Russian-made gunship helicopter for Bangladesh, Chinese used submarines for Myanmar, Saudi officials report on Houthi rebel attacks in Yemen since 2015, Turkey, Qatar and UAE partnership, Japan and the Netherlands and other international defense news also include in this video. So let's start. The Ukrainian company claims that the company's Kazakh 2M2 light armored vehicles will now be manufactured in Indonesia. This was agreed in MoU 2020 with the Ukrainian and Indonesian companies. The Kazakh 2M2 is powered by a 352 horsepower diesel engine. The vehicle can accommodate eight personnel with three crew members. It is also fitted with a remotely operated 12.7 mm machine gun. During his visit to Pakistan, the Chief of Staff of the Turkish Land Forces met with General Bajwa, Chief of the Pakistan Army. During the meeting, security cooperation between the two countries and various issues of mutual interest were discussed. The meeting also discussed regional security, especially in Afghanistan. The two countries agreed to enhance military cooperation and mutual assistance. Egypt is reportedly in talks with the Korean Defense Acquisition Program Administration over locally producing South Korea's main battle tank K-2 Black Panther. The K-2 Black Panther is one of the most expensive tanks in the world. South Korea has already offered Poland to manufacture the tank locally. However, Poland has agreed to buy 250 US-made Abrams tanks. K-2 has so far failed to get export orders. Weighing 55 tons, the tank has a top speed of 70 km per hour and a range of 450 km. Turkish Foreign Minister says that Turkey, UAE and Qatar have agreed to jointly operate Kabul Airport in Afghanistan. The Turkish Foreign Minister said that before the Taliban took control of Afghanistan, Turkey was looking after the military wing of the airport under NATO while the civilian part was being run by a UAE company. Similarly, the Afghan Taliban had said that they would consider the proposals of different countries and then decide on them. He added that Turkey has recently reached an agreement with Qatar on the issue, while a Turkish delegation also visited Doba. However, he acknowledged that Turkey and Qatar had not yet reached an agreement with the Afghan Taliban on the issue. Saudi-led coalition forces say Iranian-backed Houthi rebels fired 430 ballistic missiles and 851 armed drones at Saudi Arabia during the war in Yemen since 2015, killing 59 civilians so far. It should be noted that in recent days, there has been an increase in attacks on Saudi Arabia by the Houthi. Coalition forces also claim to have targeted Houthi strongholds. Myanmar has recently added to its fleet a used Type 35B Ming-class submarine from China in its navy. It is Myanmar's second submarine to receive a used Kilo-class submarine from India in 2020. In addition to the submarine induction, the Myanmar Navy also inducted an offshore patrol vessel, two fast attack craft, and four patrol boats in its fleet. The Chinese Ming-class has a displacement of 2,100 tons and a maximum speed of 18 knots. This submarine is capable of operating at a depth of 300 meters. The two Type 35G submarines of this series were also purchased by Bangladesh from China, which was delivered in 2016. South Korean company Hyundai Heavy Industries has been awarded a contract by the Philippine Navy for two corvettes. The Korean company has previously built two multi-role frigates for the Philippines. The deal, valued at $560 million, includes weapon systems. The Philippine Navy announced the purchase of two brand-new Corvettes in August 2012, the details of which were made public on December 15. Japan's cabinet approves the 2022 defense budget, 
So now Japan will get four F-35B from the United States at a cost of $445 million. In addition, eight F-35A will be purchased at a cost of $670 million. Japan has earmarked $340 million in its 2022 budget for the Type 12 anti-ship missiles, as well as $750 million for the FX Next Generation Fighter Program. Similarly, $454 million has been earmarked for the F-15 fighter jet upgradation. Bangladesh has announced the purchase of eight Mi-28NE helicopters to modernize its air force. Payments for these helicopters will be made during the current and next financial year. It should be noted that MI-28NE is the modern helicopter of this series, and it can be operated in missions such as searching and destroying enemy tanks, armored vehicles, day and night, and adversarial weather conditions. In addition to the 30mm cannon, three different types of anti-tank guided missiles with a range of 6 to 10 kilometers and air-to-air -air missiles can also be carried on it. It is powered by two 2400 horsepower engines. According to Chinese media sources, many companies in the Chinese defense industry have made record production this year, fulfilling orders not only for domestic, but also for international customers. In this regard, China's aviation industry has also completed production and flight tests of aircraft before the last two weeks of this year. The Aviation Industry Corporation of China says the company has completed its production and test flight missions this year, 16 days before the end of the year, while this year's production has broken previous records. While the company has introduced many other new or upgraded aircraft this year, the company also has the honor of making J-20 and J-10 fighter aircraft. In the same way, AVIC has the honor of making Y-20 in China's 20 families. The AE systems will deliver next year the first prototypes of the M-88A3 armored recovery vehicle to the U.S. Army. The ARV is an upgrade version of the M-88 designed for single vehicle recovery of the latest version of the Abrams main battle tank. In September 2019, it was announced that U.S. Army has awarded BAD Systems a $318 million contract to upgrade M-88 recovery vehicles to the M-88A3 configuration. The contract was awarded under the Other Transactional Authority Acquisition Model for upgrading the M88A2 Heavy Equipment Recovery Combat Utility Lift Evacuation System to the next generation M88A3 Hercules. The AE Systems M88 family of recovery vehicles has provided the Army with unprecedented capability for recovering stranded or disabled combat vehicles since the 1960s. Due to incremental weight increases of the Army's main battle tank over the years, the M88A3 predecessor, the M88A2 is currently unable to safely perform single vehicle recovery of the Abrams. That's all for today's video guys, if you like this content, then smash those like subscribe and bell notification icons to receive instant alerts whenever I post, thanks, and I'll see you all in my next video.